when it comes to describing what it means to be a masculine man, there are many things that can be put forward. But while this is the case, there are certain things that most people are likely to include if they were to describe what it means to be a masculine man. And one of the things they could say is that when someone, or when a man is masculine, he will be able to assert himself and to stand his ground. So what this means is he won't allow other people to walk all over him and he will be able to go for what he wants, to take action, he won't be passive. And so he won't be waiting around for someone else to make things happen for someone else to give him what he wants. He will go out there and take what he wants. This doesn't mean that he will go out there and start bullying people or stealing things, but he will take action, believe that he can get what he needs, and he will simply go for it. And along with this, he will have the ability to handle his own emotions so he won't repress them and he won't be controlled by them. And through having this ability, it will mean that he will be able to hold the space for others. So someone else could be all at sea emotionally, and he will have the ability to be there and to settle them down. And so when a man doesn't have this, he is not in touch with his masculine element. And this is something that both men and women can have, so it's not simply something that a man can have. But when a man is not in touch with his masculinity, he can end up being walked over by others. He can go along to get along. He can wait around, be passive, so waiting for someone else to give him what he needs. And his whole life can basically be about pleasing others and adjusting to them. He won't assert himself and make his mark. And when it comes to his emotions, he can end up being wiped out by his own. So he won't be able to be there for others. And he can end up looking towards others to settle him down. And when it comes to why a man would be out of touch with his masculine element, it can be due to what took place when he was younger. And so what well, this means is that he may have experienced some type of trauma during his early years. Could have been abuse, could have been neglect, could have been something else. And this might have been something that took place on a regular basis. And so when he was younger, he would have often experienced fear, terror, anxiety and rage. And he would have probably felt powerless, helpless, hopeless, ashamed and worthless. And because of what took place, this would have caused him to believe that there was something inherently wrong with him, to disconnect from his aggression. And as a result of this, he would have also come to believe that it wasn't safe for him to exist. So he would have basically disconnected from his energy, from his masculine element. When it would have ended up disconnecting from his body so often living in his head so he will be estranged from his power his strength that is deep within his being and as a result of that he will then end up being someone who has no backbone can't stand his ground because what he needs to act in a very strong and to assert himself to be more masculine will have been disconnected because if he was to get in touch with his body and to try to embrace his power, he is likely to get in touch with all this pain that he experienced as a child. So in order for him to be more integrated with his masculine element, he will need to work through this trauma and to let go of the belief that there is something inher inherently wrong with him and to realise that he deserves to exist. And this shows what can happen when someone experiences trauma 
which is where they will basically disconnect from themselves, become a divided human being. And through doing that, they will disconnect from their power. Or they will end up believing that their power is external. So they can end up putting other men and even women on a pedestal and believing that they have something that they don't have. So in order for a man to embrace his power, to reintegrate his aggression, he'll probably need to reach out for external support. And this can take place with the assistance of a therapist or a healer. Or this is something that, if you can relate to this, and you're a man watching this, I might be able to assist you with this. I might offer a free consultation, so whatever you do, the main thing is that you reach out for support. So that you can feel alive and live a life that is worth living. But it all starts with you taking the first step.